In the shadow of medieval France's Grand Chateau, a tale of honor and vengeance unfolds. The year is 1386, and two men, Jean de Carouge and Jacques Legris, are locked in a bitter feud. Carouge, a knight hardened by battle, levels a grave accusation against Legris, a squire of noble standing, the alleged crime, the heinous violation of Carouge's wife, Marguerite. In a society valuing honor, such an affront demands response. The king decrees the last judicial duel under French law, drawing crowds to Paris, all eager with anticipation. The clashing of steel and the thundering hooves of warhorses resound as divine justice is sought through mortal combat, sword against sword, fury against fortitude. Carouges emerges bloodied, but victorious. The death of Legree is deemed a divine vindication of Marguerite's virtue. The triumph, marked by the era's brutality, embodies justice served with savagery. This historical French duel is a cautionary legacy from a bygone era, merging chivalric and tragic themes in our collective memory.